There are many scientific breakthroughs and events that mark themselves into history, but few quite as well known as that of the WOW signal. In 1977, something extraordinary happened that has puzzled scientists for decades. On August 15th, Dr. Jerry Iman, working with Ohio State University's Big Ear Radio Telescope, detected a mysterious signal from deep space. This wasn't just any signal. It was powerful, unexplainable, and potentially a message from another civilization. The signal lasted for 72 seconds, the maximum amount of time the telescope could observe a specific point in the sky. What made it so remarkable was its intensity. It was 30 times stronger than background noise coming from the constellation Sagittarius near the globular cluster M55. When Iman reviewed the data, he circled the alphanumeric code 6EQUJ5 and wrote a single word in the margin. Wow. That's how it became known as the wow signal. What made the signal unique was its characteristics. It was narrow band, which means it came from a very specific frequency, something not naturally produced by known cosmic phenomena. Such signals are typically associated with artificial sources like those created by humans. Attempts to explain the wow signal have sparked countless theories. Some suggest it could have been a broadcast from an alien civilization using a frequency they assumed advanced life might recognize. Others argue it was a natural event, perhaps a pulsar or a comet, but no definitive explanation has been found. The signal has never been detected again, despite numerous efforts to scan the same region of space. Its one-time appearance only deepens the mystery. The WOW signal remains a tantalizing clue in the search for extraterrestrial intelligence. It's a reminder of how much we don't know about the universe and the possibility that somewhere out there, someone or something might be trying to reach us. If you'd like to hear us talk about more areas of science, history and far more, please do like, comment and subscribe and thank you for watching.